Hey everyone, this is PKS. Welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into content delivery network or CDN. Maybe you wondering sometime how Netflix or uh, Amazon like website or app loads so quickly, right? So it means you are at right place. Let's get it started. CDN is a network of geographically distributed servers which deliver content to any end users quickly. Instead of using a single origin server, CDN cache the data on a CDN servers by which the content deliver quickly or we can say latency will be less. So let's understand how CDN works. So let's assume you are a user and sitting in India, you are accessing app or website which is hosted in New York or USA. Your request has to travel a long distance, right? So definitely serving a content will take time because network distance is pretty much high that exactly the CDN concept apply here instead of a single origin server where all the data is present so in CDN basically distribute servers a nearby location to a user so for an example maybe if a Indian user maybe a data center or a CDN server located in Mumbai that means distance is reduced right so similarly uh, maybe user in London maybe in Russia or maybe in Japan we have a server nearby to user right the server we simply call CDN server or edge server or pop pop means point of presence right by this a cdn server cache all data which is nearby and in this particular way the request for indian user the request serve from here for london user the content serve from here and for russia user content will serve here and similarly here right so instead of content serving from origin server a uh, nearby cdn server serve the content this is the basic fundamental of cdn so uh, origin server is the main cdn server which is basically distribute data into the edge servers as server is a pop that is located at nearby to a customer right caching is the basic fundamental thing that means we cache the data on the server like uh, maybe static images javascript files and text etc right the cdn utilize the dns service by which identify the IP address of domain and it redirect to request to the nearest edge server, right? Second is load balancing. So CDN uh, basically do a load balancing as well so that not a single edge server is uh, overwhelmed with a lot of request. If in case of any edge server fail, in that particular scenario, origin server serve as the main and serve the content to the end user route to the nearest uh, edge server by network proximity so anycast routing anycast routing is the most important fundamental in cdn basically it uses network proximity so that request go to the nearest edge server maybe multiple edge servers shares the ip and so by the network proximity this anycast routing basically apply that and the request goes to the nearest edge server 
नंबर वन इज वेबसाइट और एप परफॉर्मेंस सो गाइज वी नो सी डी एन कैशेस द डेटा लाइक इमेजेस जावा स्क्रिप्ट फाइल सी एस एस ई टी सी दैट बेसिकली एक्सलरेट और रिड्यूस द लेटेंसी एंड योर एप और वेबसाइट लोड्स क्विकली नंबर टू इज वीडियो स्ट्रीमिंग येस सी डी एन इज वाइडली यूज स्ट्रीमिंग सर्विसेस एंड विद द लो लेटेंसी एंड हाई क्वालिटी सी डी एन इंश्योर द लो लेटेंसी एंड हाई Uh, quality video to end users, right? The third one is software distribution. So worldwide, CDN is uses for software update or patches to end user for the reliable updates, right? The last one is uh, DDoS attack mitigation. Yes. So since uh, it also do the load balancing of the request, di distribute the request to different edge servers. Uh, it also filter out the malicious request basically save us from the malicious activity okay guys so let's also know about the key players in cdn market akamai is the oldest and most popular in cdn and all others are like cloudflare google cdn amazon cloudfront fastly netflix open connect all are provide good service as a cdn please choose wisely because they provide different features with different pricing so before choosing please check out the pricing of because cdn is an expensive service plus it required in uh, enterprise level applications thank you